What's up, everybody? Titans328 back! But we're doing some God of War Ascension trophies now. We're taking a Blood Oath. This is the one and only multiplayer trophy. And I figured I'd put it out here first. You may recognize this part uh, if you've played into the God of War Ascension game, or even the demo, because the demo is essentially the first part of the game first half hour or so, but you get to find out what happens to this guy, because, you know, Kratos busts into the room, this hand monster, like, starts attacking, and poof! Puff of white smoke, where the hell did he go? Well, you're glad to know that you find out if you go into the multiplayer trainer. So there you are, there's, there's Zeus, you're at the Rotunda of Olympus. And I figured I'd go through the entire multiplayer training thing here and uh, show you what it's all about. So, green fountains replenish your health, in case you didn't know that. Green is good for your health. You can see Ares, Hades, Zeus, and Poseidon. So basically, it's going to explain out now that you get to choose one of these gods as the person that you serve. Sort of like Kratos does to Ares before the first game, and you choose an alliance, and based off of your alliance, I'm, right here I'm saying I want to choose this one, I'm guessing that's Kratos' spot, but he's not available yet, but you get to choose your alliance, and I'm just showing Ares, Hades, Zeus, but you choose your alliance, and based off of what alliance you have, you have different strengths, and different supports, different magic, different items. As you can see, that's Poseidon shit. And you can choose your loyalty to Poseidon if you want to. Basically, who you choose your loyalty to here in the beginning has not really any effect other than you get some experience for that alliance. You can change your alliance at any time. Like they'll say on here, once you leave Olympus, you can't change your alliance, but they're fucking bullshitting you. Because once you go to the main menu for the multiplayer, there are a bunch of different things in there. You can change your appearance with armor, different weapons that you have. You unlock more armor and more weapons that make you better, of course. And you can change your alliance at any time, basically... The alliance system works. You can switch at any time. You build experience as you go. I chose Ares here because, well, physical attack. Who wouldn't want to be more physical attacking-wise here? So, basically, they explain out how the multiplayer kind of works and how you can tell what your opponent's going to do based on shit. So, quick attacks versus heavy attacks. Quick attacks, of course, are the square button. Heavy attacks are the triangle button. Heavy attacks break defenses and almost always uh, they're basically unblockable. Uh, they're showing kicks and blocks and all that shit. Blocks will st uh, stop quick attacks. But back to what I was saying, you can change any alliance at any time. Basically, you build experience for each alliance. And if you get tired of doing an alliance, you can switch and basically start from the beginning. You have different magic too, different attacks that happen. So, there's a bunch of stuff. Basically, in this entire training sequence, it explains out how you can attack and the best ways to attack your opponent and signs to look for. Like, if your opponent turns blue, they're doing a quick attack. If your opponent turns red, they're doing a heavy attack. If they have a gold halo around their head, like it said... They are vulnerable, and you can you can grapple them like that the the quick time event type thing. There are also god items that will give you. I believe Ares was it boosts it. You get a little bit of health back, and it boosts your physical attack for a little while. But it's pretty cool. And there's magic, of course. Ares is fire. Zeus's is lightning. Uh. Poseidon's is water and basically like freeze ability. Hades is, I'm not quite sure, I think it 
I think it it's, it steals their soul. I'm not quite sure what that means. I haven't played with that. I haven't played any of the multiplayer. I just went through this this training thing quickly to show this to you guys. But I I'll probably do some multiplayer. I'll make a video about it. I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, I mean, what game nowadays doesn't have a multiplayer? So, basically, you get, oh, it, it, as it showed there, you get all the health down, and then you do the quick time grapple. Now, it says the training is complete. You could leave now. I'm not sure if the trophy will pop. I'm guessing it will, because you completed, the, it said you completed the training. And, but... There's an opportunity to learn some advanced techniques, so I said, why the hell not? You can sprint by pushing the left analog stick, the L3 button, as they call it. And you can sprint, jump as well. Uh, there's a hammer and, I mean, secondary weapons, like in the single-player campaign. And it... As it says here, red flash, unblockable attack, white flash, people are invincible. And that's a that's a parry. Blue is when somebody's recovering from a special attack, like a parry. And I think, I, what did I get parried there? I'm not sure. He tried for parry, I countered it. There's a lot of different things. I'd suggest doing the advanced thing if you're going to go into the multiplayer. It'll probably actually, it honestly probably be helpful to do the multiplayer tutorial even before going into the single player campaign, just to get a little bit of a feel for it. I mean, it's God of War, you hit the square button, triangle button back and forth, and it gives cool combos, but you got Rage Mode here, again, I think Rage Mode was from God of War 3, I'm sure it was called uh, different things too, but then you get special attacks with like the it looks like the blades of chaos and now basically after you do all that you kinda of put it to the test and you're fighting this gladiator type guy so I don't think I said it but when you change armor it switches up some of your I don't want to say abilities but your stats you can put on armor that enhances your physical attack but it takes down your resistance to attacks or you can have a better resistance to attacks which takes down your physical attack you can get elemental attack better elemental defense better you know all that stuff that'll boost your uh, boost your shit so that was a brutal kill indeed stomp his face out and I get a chest for doing the advanced thing I think this is how I get the XP from here unlock weapons and armors so now the training's complete, the advanced training anyway, and I can go claim victory for whoever, whichever god that I choose. I wish there was, Kratos was available because, hell, I would have chose Kratos and gotten some blades out and cut people's heads off. So I will leave and do a super jump out of here, fade to white, and pop goes the trophy, Blood Oath. Let's take a look at that complete the multiplayer training in Olympus. So, that is all for this video. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.